Here's why you are ruining Star Wars. But first, let's go back to 1999 when The Phantom Menace came out in theaters. Hardcore Star Wars fans hated the film because of the one character, Jar Jar Binks. I know there's a theory about Jar Jar, but honestly, it's true. Why else did Count Dooku come out of nowhere in Attack of the Clones? George Lucas had received death threats from hardcore fans to fix Star Wars. He listened to the fans. So he did. You and your YouTubers are doing the same thing for Galaxy's Edge. You talk negatively about the land, and yes, you do have an opinion and you have the right to speak of it, but you don't realize how much your opinions affect the way of people's thinking. People can't think for themselves, so they go into Doc Ondar's and argue with cast members about the merchandise. It's gotten so bad that quite a few cast members have transferred out of the area because they're tired of neg fans, parentheses, negative fanatics, arguing with them. You also don't know that there is more in the future for the land, or so they thought. Now it's not going to happen. The area isn't making any money because of the neg fans, YouTubers, 501st, and Saber Guild. So how can they expand when all you've done is convince people that it's not worth going? You are the ones ruining Star Wars. Also, stop saying Disney is doing this and that. Disney isn't in charge of anything Star Wars related. Disney is just the finance provider. Parentheses. Bank. That's all. Lucasfilm decides everything, and newsflash, who works at Lucasfilm? The biggest Star Wars fans who want to see it continue. So stop, all caps, saying that it's Disney this and Disney that and Disney's fault. Did you know that Lucasfilm decided everything in the land? They had the final say about everything in Galaxy's Edge. So please, stop being so negative towards Galaxy's Edge. It's affecting lives. The Disney parks aren't crowded because people are listening to you, so the park isn't making money. In turn, the employees aren't getting the hours to work and make money, so they're all quitting because of you. This is the Rex and Around Show. Was that the greatest intro we've ever had? That was good. I actually didn't read that, so that was all hilarious to me, first of all. <laughs> How do I'm, we... That guy is so stupid. He's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can I call this one an idiot? No. Please? <laughs> I approve. Okay. Can you put it on my camera? Can I... Let me open my water bottle first so that I'm not, like, fidgeting. Are we recording? Yeah. yeah. This is part of the show, right? Well, oh, it was... Right. I, I just figured we're still running. Oh, okay. Oh, we always do the intro and then... Okay. That's it. I come in hot right off the top. The okay. ignorance just like bleeds. Like you haven't watched a single episode or a single you, like an episode, whatever. You haven't watched a single video. You idiot. Haven't listened to a word we've said. Dude, haven't listened to a word we've said. They're one of those people that takes... They can hear 45 minutes of such a positive thing. Yeah. And then 30 seconds is like, I didn't like this. And that's all they grabbed from that. And then that's what they live their life by. That comment triggered me. Oh, I already said it. I already said the Keep word going. triggered. Oh, no, no, you could, it. you could say triggered you. It Okay, it hit me to the core. Um, my reply is seething. Are, are you, oh, we're going to read the reply? Read Do you want to hear it? I, I haven't read it. I didn't okay. know. I didn't know this existed. So, so for all of you, uh, this was a comment that was not only left on one of our YouTube videos, every single one we've made. They copy and paste it. Probably toss a thumbs down in there also. Oh, 100%. I hope they shared it to say, like, look at these guys and then got us more views. Like, dude, you ready? I feel like you probably didn't. <sighs> you must, this is my response. Oh, okay, hit him with it. You must be out of your mind. Out of his mind. We are the furthest thing from negative fans. We literally talked yes. endlessly about the Star Wars Land merch and attractions. I have been back at least half a dozen times and spent a good bit of change each time. I don't want to flex online and say no, it's yeah. like thousands of dollars now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Holy you, cow. You've, we carried how many lightsabers of yours? Hey, Taylor, not only that, guys, I met a kid who watched our show in Star Wars Land. But he went home with a lightsaber too. Why? How? I bought it for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited about that. And he was like, yeah, because uh, he didn't have uh, the Luke Skywalker and they didn't have it in stock. But I had it. I had one that I had never opened. So I was like, oh, dude, no problem. I got you. Because like I was so unbelievably excited 
to be meeting another Star Wars fan. Like, we're friends now. In fact, I'm not kidding. While I was reading that review, he just texted me. His name is Aaron, Galaxy's Edge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, we're best friends now. Whoa. I'm kind of a little Whoa. disappointed that Sorry. like, Chill. I'm disappointed Sorry, guys. that Aaron got that lightsaber yeah. and I can't go to Disneyland <laughs> to get that lightsaber and it's I don't sold even out. Have, I don't even have a Disney pass. <laughs> well, this have guy's... I not done enough for you boys? <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> was that the end of your response? No, I, dude, I... No, that we was derailed. Show it to me? Show it to we me. We derailed. Oh, my. Oh my. Okay, here you we go. Ready? Oh we my. literally talked endlessly about the Star Wars Land merch and attractions. Endless. I've been back at least half a dozen times half and spent a, a good bit of change each time. Each time. I even paid for a party to, of six to visit a couple weeks back. I had one bad thing to say about the price and quality of Savvy Sabres, and that's it. I have purchased almost every Legacy Saber and most merch. That's not like an, that's not an exaggeration. No, like, you have. I've bought like everything. They're on the, they're on the table. <laughs> Your claims that the one bad thing I said about the parks is causing people to not go is absolutely laughable. Our <laughs> video... Our, <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's interpreting it. I'm, it's like I'm, I'm reacting. Our video has like 40,000 views. That's like an 40. hour's worth of attendance. Yes. Solid. GTFO. Hit him with a GTFO. Ooh. It's rare. I don't normally you use don't, GTFOs. No, usually get the freak out, man. You're the problem, not us. Beyond that, if you had actually done your research, instead of shouting blind frustration at us, you would have learned that we said it was Lucasfilm manning the helm, not Disney. We say that multiple times. Disney does not come in and make or sorry, Disney does come in and make changes. They have multiple times because this is their investment and they have a right to do so. But with that, we shared the responsible party is Lucasfilm. Don't come at us like that. Unsubscribed if you're subscribed and move along. Ooh, they hit him with a Star Wars yeah, coat you right know I did the that. end. Woo. You know I did. That hurt, man. Yeah. Well, I, did, did he post that on the Marvel one? On all of them. So my question to him, which I don't care if he responds, because do you watch our podcast? Sure. No, him. No, he was asking. Oh, yeah. him. No, did he watch wait, that? No, wait, 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 I'm wait. Like, I do you watch the podcast? <laughs> I've <had> them all. <laughs> that wasn't convincing. I mean, I skimmed them all. Okay, that one's, uh, that one's done. Yeah. No, but like, did if he put it on the Marvel one? I'm wondering if that's the one he saw, because we don't even really mention Disney doing anything that one. Like, no. it's all Lucasfilm that that's we're what I'm talking saying. about. So and it's like, we're not... That's why I referenced that. Um, I deleted all of them except for the one that I left um, so I could reply. He hasn't replied. I don't care. Um, the truth is maybe... And it got, it got me thinking, like, we're very... I feel like we're very honest reviewers and, and we're trying to explain to everybody watching, like, hey, this is what you're going to get. And in fact, uh, if you follow us on Instagram at Rexon underscore around, you will see that we, well, I was at Disneyland the other day and ran into some fellow viewers. And every interaction was, oh my gosh, I watched your video before coming here to know what I should get and what I shouldn't get. Or I watched your videos on the plane over to, to, to get hyped for the, sh for the land. Yeah. It's so cool. It's so cool. I was I losing my it. mind, guys. Like, it, I, I was so sad you weren't there because, like, it would have been the greatest day of our lives together. No, I agree. Because it was mine. Mm. Um, it wouldn't have been mine if you gave away the Luke Saber to that guy <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> Dude, Aaron's my new BFF, I'm, gonna, man. I'm just going to say because we weren't there. That's why we didn't get it. Let's just that's go with that. True. I'm like positive he had that before then. Shh, no, I've had it for a while. Mentally, we're just going to think that, okay? <laughs> I feel like he got that one for Mitchell. <laughs> anyway. Gonna... Dude, so it, it kind of got me thinking like... <sighs> I'm not accepting fault here because I, I think that we have to be fair and even in how we review things. I do think it's like 95% positive, 5% negative, and the 5% negative, honestly, being Savvy's workshop. Oh, jeez. Do you see all those flies in there? No, I didn't Holy see them. Crap, I'm not drinking any more of that. Ew, I see them. Um, That's gross. You guys, <laughs> I need to address something too. The AC is broken in here. No, it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, we're not having a great time. I am just... I'm okay over here. Yeah? I am... I mean, it's, it's warm, but... I am very moist. Ew, gross. All right, my back's a little sweaty. Yep. I'm doing okay. So we're going to rush through this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I'll get to this point. I, I think I, I, I just want to have a really positive episode. 
And I know that was a, like maybe the most negative start we've ever had. It wasn't us though. Yeah, no, I know. I want to, I want to just talk about the things that we love because I think sometimes in reviewing things or in talking about our experience, maybe our love doesn't shine through as much as we want it to. And I'm not saying it's our fault because I, I think we're being fair and balanced, but I really just want to share with our listeners your why why we love Star Wars so hard. Especially coming off the episode last week or No, it was like last yeah, week. It was last week. Where we talk about the things that Star Wars isn't doing right necessarily. Yeah. Who wants to lead this? This will be a fun little sesh. Well, we've kind of dove into this already. We kind of did this with the bit. the Kind of with the, what's it called? What I'm trying to say here. I just um, feel like your ships? mic is so far away no, from you. No, it's good. It's where it usually that's is. That's where it always is. I'm in such a weird mic place. Yeah, man. <laughs> you are. You're Michael, so like... get your mic together. Paranoid. I'm so paranoid. <laughs> You're like, that's ah, too close. That's too far. I can't even listen to the episodes because I just like... You don't like hearing your voice? Mm-mm. So, derail. My wife watched like five episodes and got to our episode and she was like... Yeah, it turned it off. I was just real sick of hearing your voice. I'm like, oh, thanks. Oh, you talk too much, yeah. <laughs> We're actually starting to get comments. I think this is the most I've seen Taylor talk before. Yeah. And I know, they I'm don't like, really well. sound happy or disappointed. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, kind of like... They're like, I'm not sure how to deal with this. <laughs> they're like, wait, Taylor talks. Yeah. They're like, wait, oh, maybe we don't like this show as much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I... Um, I met my wife through Star Wars. Yeah. So if you want to go into untold stories of why we love Star Wars... I tell don't, me, don't tell me about that. Care about that? I care about it. <laughs> do people care about that? Well, I do, and you're talking to me right now, big oh, guy. Oh, okay. Hi, Michael. Pass it along. No. Um. So I started. I kind of dove headfirst with the costuming. That's when I dove like really into it, and not not really, but Clone Wars. And then building a clone. We said we've kind of talked about this. How we've started into Star Wars. We did it with Sal, um, on the episode he was on, and. But when I was building my clone this random chick like was like like commenting and liking my photos and she was in like she was a part of the Star Wars community with friends of friends of friends type thing on Instagram got it and then yeah I mean yeah and then I was like I started liking hey, it hey be confident Star Wars. be confident like in your Wars. story no I got you it's just like how to like how do you describe it you know what I mean it was definitely we met through social media you Star did Wars the, community you did the back and forth flirting yeah you go back and maybe like, like a photo that shouldn't that isn't necessarily on your immediate timeline Oh no! I definitely did. I slid into those Could DMs, go all bro. The way to the bottom. That one. Oh, that's a that's aggressive. <laughs> I slid into like that. That's harassing. That far into the DMs. No, you don't have to go to the DMs. Just to the bottom of the feed. Oh no! I slid the DMs. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. What did way. you say? Uh, you know what's funny is she's gonna laugh. It wasn't Star Wars related though, so it doesn't matter. Um, it was like me breaking the ice. I know she was an animal person. And I straight up asked her, and I was like, "Hey, should I get a dog? I'm living by myself. I work a lot." And then, like, I was trying to segue into, like, a, hey, how are you? I see it. And then she gave me advice, and, like, that was it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, thanks. So she didn't pick up on your first, uh... No. So was it when you bought her the $900 suit of armor that she understood? It was $1,200. When you bought her the $1,200 uh, suit of armor, so yeah, she Yeah, we started dating. Um, and then, like, I want to say, like, two months in a relationship, I bought her a Star Wars costume. I bought her Bo-Katan. Full, complete, $1,200 costume to wear to Celebration Anaheim with, with me. And this was two months into dating? Celebration Anaheim was like three to four months, yeah. But when you bought the kit? Yeah, two months. Yeah, I was... Your pushover. That was a risk, bro. Your schmuck. Huh? That was a And she's like, she's like four foot ten. So I had to trim it. I'm like, if things go bad, I yeah. can't sell this. No. Yeah. But didn't you sell it? Well, recently, yeah. To, yeah, but still, you, but you were still able like, to sell it. They had to replace. They had to replace pieces because they're way too small. Oh, she but, was a tiny bo katan. Yeah, so like, I mean, Star Wars, like, it's there's a community. There's a positive community out there. There's a lot of negativity, as we read, even though we're being blamed. Like, there's kind of uh, that's a little projection. You know, and and I think it is. But part of me, in the self-deprecating style, feels like, wait, am I doing something wrong? In the way I say things. I don't think it's wrong to be honest, though. Like, it, the Savvy's Workshop Saber is not the best quality saber. Like, the Legacy ones are amazing. They're amazing. And so in the like, same video, yeah. you spend five minutes trashing it and then going into how amazing the other ones are. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was a 20 minute video, wasn't it? Yeah. And all you did was say that it's not worth it to go there it's right not. now. You didn't even say ever. You just said right now. Well, not now. only that, but they came out recently saying that the, they're yep. going to make changes to the new batches. So, so it's like, okay, yeah. I did have validity in what I'm saying. There's, there's this Reddit thread with 50 screenshots of people on Twitter saying that their Savvy's Workshop Saber isn't working great. So I do think there's validity in it, but perhaps the negativity is outshining the things we love. And, and maybe it's not because... Uh, here's, here's the trolls thing. Trolls are always going to troll. That's here's just how it thing. is. Absolutely. Our positive videos, look at the ratio between the one that we kind of talked negatively on views mm -hmm. and the ones that we talked positively. People like negativity. Yeah, they do. Those are the ones that blow up. That's the ones that blew up. Like So it's like... We have a lot of positive, but you're seeing the negative because that's what's up there. Yeah. And that's hard. Like, we can't control People are that. getting introduced to us from those videos. Look at this guy. They said it was terrible. That's, that's what that's I assumed see. this guy is. Or yeah. they watch, like, was the negative at the very beginning? So they probably yeah, tuned no, yeah. out well before we got into I mean, granted, our Marvel useful. versus Star Bro, Wars was. I was wearing a $240 flight suit. <laughs> which you forgot to bring today. <laughs> I did. It was too hot. Yeah, don't bring that. I was going to wear it. It was too hot, though. I have to go bathroom. And I think we all kind of have stories that are like Greg and Christine's. Mine is Greg and Michael. And then from that came Greg, Michael, and Taylor. Where I met Greg at a Star Wars event. We've talked about this. Yep. Um... And then it all just kind of went from there. You want, I, about, you want to talk about it again, though? No, that's what I'm saying. We've oh, okay. talked about it. That's what sure. um, so I just like hearing it. <laughs> you know, I think... <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time I've made Taylor laugh. That's the first time I've made Taylor laugh. I, I think that's the first time. <laughs> that's probably pretty true. Uh, that was... Where are you going? Sorry. Um, Derailed. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I think a big thing for me... Um, and it's pretty clear from the videos we do, is it's going to sound so consumer, consumeristic, but like I love buying Star Wars stuff. I can't get enough. I think you love buying Star Wars stuff more than anyone else I've ever met in my whole life. I, uh, Regardless of the price. What did you just buy? Yeah, that's, that's a key factor. In what that. did you just buy? Which, t like just the other day? Just, no, just today. You said today, right? Oh, I bought a bunch of Black Series figures on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> you had to question it. Yeah, and then I also <laughs> bought. Sucked. I bought the new Black Series. I pre-ordered the new Black Series Boba Fett. Helmet. Uh, the helmet. The helmet. That's full yeah, circle. Sorry. So that one's okay. Thank you, because I had the old Hasbro one. one yeah. Do we still yeah. have it? It's over there. That's full circle. We'll do a review. We'll People will be mad at me for <laughs> we'll it. We'll compare. It's like um, it's going to be a year from now, but we'll do it. I I just got the two Asajj Ventress lightsabers at uh, Galaxy's Edge this past weekend. Um, now, if somebody's keeping math, like tell, keep telling and say we don't like Star Wars, we're the problem. No, but I, and that's where it comes down to is like the I I can't, and Taylor can attest to this. What am I almost always carrying around the office these days? A hundred percent. He always has at least one of the legacy sabers. I'm always holding in business in my business. I am <laughs> I'm walking into meetings. 100%. With my seven foot tall, dark <laughs> mall <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> Wobbly blades. Were you in that meeting I walked into the other day and yeah. I had the full on saber? I was this close to just filming it for the sake of filming it. And I was like, nah, it's like actually work. I'm there was not a gonna... conference room meeting and I didn't realize and I opened the door and I was like, oh, they're in here. And I had my lightsaber. <laughs> it's the whole and door. Just, and of course it clinks on the top. And of you the just committed. Frame. You're like, I'm going in. I'm going in. It's my. I, and I thought I was going to be like, oh, I should put this back. And I said, no, it's my company. <laughs> and yeah, I, I signed in. these checks. They and can I, be with my lightsaber. And I took the lightsaber and I placed it on the table, and it was shot it? out from both sides of the table. Oh like, my gosh! Because I said the head, head of the table, and it was just like extending. And you know what? Nobody said a word. What? Are, <laughs> Everybody expects it. What are the? Yeah, that's true too. Well, I, also, what can they say? <laughs> dude, I love Star Wars stuff yeah. because, and, and I think a little bit like my ultimate goal, and a lot of us of us have the same goal but maybe me more i want to be in a star wars and um wearing the armor holding the props having the figures is like probably the closest i'm ever going to get 
realistically. I mean, if anybody can swing it, I think that I'll be able to swing it, but <laughs> I, I think there's a good chance that the closest I'll ever get is just making the stuff myself. And the speeder bikes, like the speeder bike project in Manhattan, like yeah. where we turned two bikes, that was like that was like a destiny thing for me where it was just like, this is so right. I've nothing's ever felt this right before I'm wearing scout trooper armor and I'm riding a speeder bike through the streets of Manhattan. Like that is my love of star Wars is being a part of it, like a physical part. And, and I think that buying stuff as much as it's such a mindless thing. And I think people can be annoyed with people like me who just buy everything it's very personal why I do it. It's yeah. not like I buy it to have it. Like, if you guys have been to my house... Everything. Very late. When you first moved into your place, you said, I'm going to keep everything Star Wars to the game room, and I'm going to keep minimal Star Wars to the living room. And then what happened? Everything. There's Star Wars everything. Everything is Star Wars. <laughs> the whole thing Star Wars. Everything. There's no... I mean, I, look at the set. Yeah. Like, I got my Shore Trooper... And my T Rex. It's mainly my collection. It's, like I really, this I think is my, the rest of it is your collection. This is my spillover, also. Yeah. And um, my, I have a Star Wars room, and and it's like the shelves are covered, and I will literally, dude, I go, I go in there and I dust them <laughs> because I don't want them I to get you to, dirty. I need like, you to come to my place. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I am so like passionate about the things that that Star Wars makes that I can have, that we can have. Yeah. And um, well, I mean, look at when we go to Frankenstein's. How many times have we been there? How thousands many, of dollars how many, worth of times. How, many new stu- how much new stuff is there? It's always new, I feel like. Well, well I, mean, I mean, there's always new stuff. It's yeah. usually a lot of times the same stuff. Dude, it's the same stuff, but there's so much of yeah. it yeah. that like it's new. There's that one booth with all like the vintage mm-hmm. figures, the old Clone Wars, the this guy, like yeah. in new in box. Yeah. And we just go, we're just like... We just look at it. Well, one time you bought it. But yeah, we were just... The usual time, just like... Greg, do you remember when you and I went on a two-hour adventure yes. to a pawn shop? We got a tip on the Rex and Around Instagram account that there was a pawn shop like two hours away that had a... They call them lots, like like piles of... Yeah, twice. Of uh, prequel-era boxed vehicles. And Greg and I drove, like not knowing... North LA. Like not the, knowing what we were going to find... And it was the seediest. I mean, it was as seedy as you could think of a pawn shop. It was horrendous. Greg and I, you should have seen us, arms full oh, of Star Wars we, boxes. Did we make two trips? No, we made one trip. One we just, trip, because we weren't going back. We're just like, we need to get out of here. And we were scurrying. Picture us scurrying yeah. to the car. With we were boxes scurrying. of toys. If only this was the Rex and Around Show era, I, I would have been chasing you with yeah. the camera. I know. It this was, been but it was the like, it was like what? The first? I don't think we had started it yet. I don't think we had. I don't think no? we committed Mm-mm. because you guys no, said you had No, we had, had it. talked about it. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And we, were, found, we were just organizing it. One of you found like an Empire one and you were going to, you found an Empire lot or something and you were going to go get it and then you, I guess it was sold or something. I feel like I remember hearing there that. There was an AT-AT after, that was sold. Maybe. There was I don't know. some pieces that were sold out, yeah. of this, out of the lot. He had like two lots. Yeah. Uh, we got it. And you know what? I opened all of them. <laughs> oh, <I bet. laughs> he gave me one, but it was that's like, another thing. It was the Art like, Trooper ones, and I open figures on the on the podcast all the time. Yeah. and I actually, I'll, I'm going to open Doctor Afra today. Um, Did you just say Doctor Afra? That's what it is. That's her it's name. Not, I don't know. I guess is it Doc or is it Doctor? No, I thought it was Doc. Doctor oh, Afra. Oh no, Doc Ondar, Doctor. Okay. Yeah. And and I think part of the thrill I get is opening the stuff. Because it means that nobody else can like harvest. The value is all yours. Dude, bingo. Yeah. Is that like when you open it, it's only it only matters to you now. I feel that because when I have toys, no, toys collectibles, whatever you toys. action figures, toys. toys collectibles. Um, now that you say that, like I do, I don't open them. I get them. I don't open them. And I'm just like. Okay, I have it. Uh, there's no yeah. yeah it's there's no connection to Which, it after that. The set has a lot of box figures, yeah. and there's a that's it's very aesthetic. Like I like the aesthetic of box figures. So if you can display them like this, but you bought two of each. Yeah, they're all <laughs> opened at home. <laughs> 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 um, and so I, I, yeah, it is. It's this thing of like having it, and nobody. It's for no other. It serves no other purpose but joy. Yeah. When you buy a figure and you open it. 
it now has no other purpose but to bring you joy. The monetary value is gone. The resale is gone. Collectability is gone. Now you say that, but you have all the old vintage action figures. The three was mm -hmm. three seven five, whatever they are. Those sell for a ton still these days. But that's what I'm saying. But when I open it, no, it even opens like they're. No, they don't sell for that. No, much they don't. Open. I thought no. they did. No, there's like little. There's like, like little didn't, variants. Didn't snaggle teeth like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So short, short ones. run prints and misprints. Okay. And like they change the color of the suit. Like, sure, there's variants that are okay. worth a lot. So it's more like misprints and stuff. I have gotcha. every single one from the first run. There's like, forty-eight or something like that from like the first run through of all the figures before they kept redoing them. I have all of them open. You're talking about the originals? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have them all open. Opened. I have an Obi-Wan in the case, which is like a cool little piece that's in my living room. But like, I have them all opened. And, How much does that go for? The Obi-Wan in the case? Yeah. Uh, probably like a thousand. Uh, it's not worth stealing. It's okay. not worth, and it's not worth selling. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's, not, it's like, it's like, and I understand, like, of anybody, I think I understand the importance of money. We've talked a little bit about like my journey with the startup and being nearly homeless and selling everything that I had. I didn't sell that stuff because it was like, it's not for that purpose. Yeah. I know I sold a bunch of my Star Wars stuff, but it was all opened. It was like a lightsaber. And you, and you, sold a lot of, you said you sold a lot of Black Series, but it was multiples. Yes. How many, I don't know if you know this, how many of those, remember the Amazon sold the four pack Black Series clones. Bro, I kept those. How many did you have? How many, do you still have all of them? I never got rid of those. How many do you have of those? I just have one set. Two sets. Just two. Are you sure? I'm positive. Why? I thought you had at least three. Of the six inch? The six inch was a four pack. Amazon no. four pack. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Why? Amazon Why would I have three? Dude, I don't. That's I, too exactly. many. You, he would have three, so you could give him one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish now. It was back when you were like still startup, 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 fresh startup. So I was like, yeah, it was money in the money in the pocket. The, oh, the hundreds. Yeah, because it sold retail for a hundred, mm -hmm. and you just I want it, dude. It was well, like I, I do want it, but it and it is. It's like this this thing where and obviously like, I've got stuff in the box, like, but ninety eight percent of my collection is unboxed. Yeah, or gone now. You know, and it's like I think there's the joy that comes from opening it because nobody will take it from me. Yeah. And I, and even no matter how desperate I'll get, I won't sell it. You love because, Star Wars, yeah. You just love Star Wars. So man. that's where I think my that's like my lecture on why I love this and like why I buy all this stuff. You know, like I, it's absurd that I buy so many lightsabers, but like oh, it is. <laughs> I agree. I'm just not. I'm just. I'm not going to judge you for it. It makes me so insanely happy, especially walking around Galaxy's Edge, which people I think felt like we and myself hated Galaxy's Edge. I it think, was, I mean... You gave be, off pretty bad vibes to start. Well, yeah, I, mean, I was bummed. I was there the first time. The bad vibes were like... Validated. Flowing and validated. But you went back again and again and again and again and again. And now you go And you love time. it. It was, and I explained this, it was the <clears throat> worst situation because I got locked in the line, then I got stuck with those kids, and then by the time I was done, I was like, I honestly, like... I was, I had such high hopes for this my whole life. Imagine like thinking about something for like 10 years. Like it was announced like eight or 10 years. It was announced so long ago, dude. Yeah, that's true. So it's like imagining wanting to be a father your entire life. And then your kid is a loser. Yes. And your <laughs> kid just goes on YouTube and bashes people. Like, I would be disappointed as a father. Oh, you're slamming <laughs> that commenter. That's nice. I liked that. Oh. Dude, um, I pretty good. It was it was akin to that. Obviously, not the same emotional level. I'm not trying to offend fathers out there saying that <laughs> my disappointment in Star Wars is the same to yours and your children. <laughs> You're just, but <laughs> disappointing kids. <laughs> I think that that's a different topic that we it should is. get into. I'm not qualified to talk about that. No, but um, yet. yeah. Going back to school, I think that Galaxy's Edge has become, and it's dude. You know what it is too. It's partly because because I'm on a high because of the the fellow Star Wars fans there. Now, we did talk about the time I got bullied pretty hard with the Darth Maul lightsaber. But were, were, were those the same kids wearing Mickey ears and, like, his and hers, like, Mickey shirts? Dude, they were, like, punk, little punk teens, you know? And I don't know if they had Mickey gear on. I put my head down pretty quick. <sighs> Wait, I don't remember that. Not to he said he got bullied when he had the Darth Maul. Oh, maybe you were, on, oh. you were off the podcast. I don't week. think I was there that day, so I for sure didn't. Yeah. Oh, no, I listened to that whole podcast, you, so yeah, I don't know I, I missed you, it. It was very quick. It really? was very quick. Oh, okay. I got I got bullied pretty hard. And so when you um, bought, bought the Darth Maul one, 
Oh, what happened? Sorry. Um, I bought the Darth Maul lightsaber, and yeah. I was like, I had it ignited, and I was holding it, and I look over, and these kids are filming me, and they're laughing, and they're like, do it again, bro, and I was like, well, are you going to like make fun of me and like make some kind of meme? And they started all chuckling, and they filmed it, and they all looked at their phones after and were like laughing to each other. It was like, to dude, it was like, it was yeah, like high rough. school. That's not cool, but I'd be like, yeah, but like, look who's having fun well, with the money that they just spent. And to I'd, be pretty, I'd be pretty bummed. I mean, it I'd be bummed me too, out. but I'd be like, I don't know. Maybe well, I'd, I've dealt with that more in my you know life, what it is? so I can. No, no, no. Because, it, and, I, and I think, I think we all have to a degree. Maybe not Greg so much because you didn't grow up a nerdy kid. You grew up playing sports, but, um, which I grew up playing sports too. I'm pretty athletic, but I also liked Star Wars. Brag about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I threw myself off topic. Uh, it does hurt. Like you Absolutely. can get a hundred co compliments, and that one negative thing yeah. will it'll get you. And it's like I think we see that a lot. And then, to be honest, I feel like I see it double because when I'm not doing this, I'm doing the bike stuff, and I'm doing the face of the bike stuff. And when people are mad about the bike stuff, who do they blame? The face. <laughs> And well, so see. it's, I don't really get a break. It is like when I shut off the Super 73 account and turn on the Rex and Around account, it's just from one fire to the next sometimes. And it's true. And we know why I know it's true because one time I was like, hey, Michael, don't do this. And it was just like on top of the week that you were receiving a bunch of hate from, was it the Galaxy's Edge or was it Lightsaber? Could have been I either, say it was bro. Lightsaber. Yeah, it could have been both. And then like you just, I like, put the negative like cherry on top like oh now my own friend is bashing me oh because you and i got into it <laughs> <laughs> what did he, i do oh you snapped yeah i snapped, got you good bro. dude it caught me off guard snapped but yeah no i see what you mean like you get, you get a lot shot. of heat <laughs> a kidney <laughs> shot yeah because Looking you know what dude at funny. a certain point it is it's like you get it so much you're like i'm going for the kill and i was an easy kill i mean i just go kill. for the kill the first time <laughs> you do I you're like a cat <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just go, eh, it's not worth yeah. it. Taylor, what do you love about what makes you? We've talked about me and Michael a lot. I, dude, Star Wars, it's so hard because it's like something that goes back as far as I can remember. So it's like I've always loved it. You just loved it in general. Yeah. I've, I've never cared a ton. Like as a kid, I cared about the toys. Yeah. And like when I saw the stormtroopers, I was like, I have to be a stormtrooper. Like okay. it is my favorite looking thing ever. So you like more of the, so the, like, the universe more than yeah. you do a specific. You yeah. like the empire. I just, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, but I do like all of it. Like I loved the prequels when they came out. They yeah. were like my favorite. Jar Jar Binks was awesome. Like I never, uh, I honestly never noticed the hate. I always thought that I never, it was. Yeah, I never noticed the hate either. I'll my first cosplay that. was Jar Jar Binks. Really? I have to admit it. My mom painted my arm. She sewed a whole costume <laughs> for me. She painted my arms with the squiggly oh, orange pattern. We need to get a and I wore a Jar Jar Binks mask. Dude, that's awesome. We need a picture of that. That's all. Go I back mean, to your story. So like, I always saw, I mean, not as a kid, I wasn't like this. Um, I can't think of the word, like eloquent with words or whatever. But like, I noticed it as like uh, George Lucas's attempt at doing what all of Pixar and Disney's amazing films did was like yeah. make jokes for kids that kids love, but also make a joke immediately that like the adults get and yeah. the kids totally miss. Connect to both. To yeah. both. And so like I never had a problem with Jar Jar. And just like as I got older and like as I went to Celebration in Anaheim, I like pulled the trigger on the Anovos kit and I got it and I was in so far over my head. Like yeah. I was like Cool, I bought it. It was like 350 bucks. This is so sick. I got a stormtrooper and I looked down them all. I almost bought one at that time too. What do I do? Like I yeah, like we all I had that kind of never, freak out moment. Yeah. I had and and then I didn't even like talk to anybody. I just like built it and then submitted to the 501st. Like everyone was like, what do you have any friendos? <laughs> no. Oh. I straight up and I went on the 501st website, got the CRL. And like, just read the CRL and was like, "Well, let's hope for the best." Jeez, and, man. and I looked at the picture that was on the cardboard that came with it. You know what? That and was I your built reference. It and you I know built what, it off of that. Anovos didn't come with the original kits. Didn't come with the guide. A lot of people built it just off of. <clears throat> here's like the, when I went to build a parties. Looks like. When I went to build parties, they didn't have notes. They literally cut out the box and had the box. Well, so the box had like a, on top. It had a cardboard thing, which is. Michael Bender yeah it, but um 
it like that was like a poster cardboard thing, yeah. and that was what I used as reference. People and then, no, and then a, they lot, had, a lot of people use that on their website. They had a PDF, so like and it was terrible from what I heard. It was terrible. People started I mean, making their it own. It literally was like it explained the very basics of building anything you know what it was? and shimming. It was IKEA. It was the IKEA. It version. was literally an IKEA thing, and you were like, "Sorry, we're getting way too deep in this one." Hope for the best. It's pretty deep, but like. I, I did it. What I did you approved. mean you and were like, you're like, I don't care? Yeah, I was just like, dude, this is the greatest moment of my life. You're a Star I bought, Wars. I bought an you're EF, a Star Wars. Yeah, I bought an EFX helmet, and that's where I started. And then, like, I don't, I don't think I wore it around and took that many pictures with it because I, I was, like, embarrassed, too. But, like... Did you dress up in your house, though? Like, you totally suited 100%. up? 100%. Yeah. I would put the whole thing on yeah. my house and be like, I'm the coolest person ever. And then be like... I think we all did that. Yeah. You did that a ton. I got pictures of me and my roommates... I'm just suited up looking in the refrigerator. My roommates are just standing in the kitchen like this. I've got a good photo series. Remember that. The, yeah. my, one of my favorite photos of my ar- of me and my armor is like, unfortunately, the only, because like my bedroom at the time, I, you remember because we did the paper stormtrooper in there. Mm-hmm. My room has no light or that room had no light. And so my bathroom was the only room that had like good light. Yeah. So like the first time I suited up, I was with Nicole, my wife, and she took a picture of me just like leaning and it's like above my toilet. Oh <laughs> like my you gosh. You can't really tell, but I used to have I the clone, tell. like the blue I remember that. regular clone above said, my toilet. Yeah. And so like I would just like lean like with the clone with me in my stormtrooper. And that was I think I've seen that because like, I was there for Taylor's first troop. Oh, the or second troop. Second troop yeah. was second troop? It was my second troop. I was there the first for the one second. was like something else. How was that? It was a little school. It was fine. Okay. He was, was a stormtrooper. I, I was a clone. Armor. I was my fat armor. It was before. It was. It was really bad. Oh, you tightened it up. Oh, bro, it was. It was bad. Thank you, Brian Cook, for giving me enough crap to fix it. Because Brian gave you crap. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I know, but you know, <laughs> so nobody else knows who Brian is. But yeah, it's I a mean, fun joke for he'll us. Watch it. Hey, everyone he'll who's watch watching. It. Brian's our friend, and he always gives us lots of crap. No, but like my, because the shims are, it's supposed to be really tight and really yeah, close. Yeah. Like it's just supposed to be the width of the shim. He kind of guided you. And he was like, bro, you left so much. I'm like, I only had yeah, that as my what, guide. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, okay. I spent like four days like yeah. dremeling it apart and redoing it. I had this as my guide. Go get a grabs. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, today, uh, this is the Rex and Around show. Today I'm uh, joined by my fellow host, uh, Taylor and Greg. Oh. Hi. Caught that intro. <laughs> <laughs> Almost missed it. <laughs> <laughs> like halfway now, through the podcast. Now play the video. Now play the yeah. video. Now let's start <laughs> we'll, we'll put the intro here. Yeah. Welcome okay. to the Rex and Ryan show. Um, um, <clears throat> I think that a lot of people watching and listening are going to be like, dude, you guys aren't negative at all. Like, don't overcompensate. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's just one negative comment. The truth is. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. And you guys know what I go through uh, reading them because for the most part, I'm the one making the bold statements. Um, I Because I can't not. No, no. What? <laughs> does he? I don't think he does. I, I just, so. um, I, a little bit I do like getting reactions, <laughs> in case you didn't know. No, um, no a little bit I do know what I'm doing when I'm saying things that are overtly one way. Do but... You? <laughs> hey, idiots. <laughs> that was still my favorite. Yeah. And you know what's funny is we were sitting there editing it. Taylor was busy, so it was you and because it was the quick one. Yeah. And you're like, Greg, should I remove this? And I'm like, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was the one where I was like, dude, I gotta go. Yeah. And you yeah. were just out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I I know what I'm doing. And I know what it's going to cause. Yeah. Does it mean it doesn't it doesn't bug me? No, it bugs me. But it's definitely something I can handle. What what I feel like I can't handle is when they say that we represent something that we don't. Yeah. If they're mad at me for something, be mad at me for something. But don't like say that we're a part of this negative Star Wars cor- culture because I, I really don't think we are that no. part. And I, and I, yeah. I think we're all plugged into the Star Wars community enough to know where the negativity I mean, comes from. There's people that will hate on it, hate on everything Disney, Lucasfilm, Star Wars. Every pocket that represents Star Wars, they will hate on everything. Go watch the movies opening night. Go to the park. Go spend hundreds, yeah. thousands of dollars. Come home. Meanwhile, they're posting pictures that they had a great time, but then they come home and just 
hate on it again. A Facebook paragraph. Yeah, and it's like how they were miserable. It was yeah. garbage. But there's pictures that are just like stoked. It's like I know those are the people that are definitely just the problem. Yeah, uh, that those are the people that this guy was writing the comment to. And I also want to add. He said that people are having to quit their jobs. <laughs> Come on. Bro, I go to Disneyland on the regular. That is the funniest thing I've... Literally, that's it. Never again will I hear something funnier <laughs> than somebody saying that negative Star Wars fans are causing Disneyland to go under. I think what's funnier is that you're saying... That he's saying that you're... By your comment, they're losing their job. They literally Bro. went There's, to their management and were like, I am quitting. <laughs> this comment <laughs> means you need to fire me. I'm Bro. quitting because this is place is toxic because Rex and Around called me an idiot and said that the lightsaber <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> but like Happens. better than it that, happened. if they're fixing the problem, they're spending money to like retool mm-hmm. everything. It's a business. They're reinvesting. Do your business. <laughs> business. Also, they lowered the uh, attendance by like 10,000 for Star Wars land so it's not overcrowded. They did oh, a really? lot. Did they? they raised the yeah. prices. Yeah, they raised the prices oh, and lowered attendance. They changed the stroller laws. Yeah. Oh, no, you no, 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 no. Yeah, no, you, I heard those. Oh, um, I was thankful for and, those. And so, the, and then they, and There's then no they changed. no reason why my ankle should be getting hit by a yeah. quad wide stroller. <laughs> quad wide. And then they, they took away a lot of annual passes. Mm-hmm. They're changing the entire pass structure because they have too many people going to yeah. the park. And clearly raising the prices isn't stopping people. It won't ever stop people. It will. It'll def- deter the crowd they want to deter. I'm not going to get into that. But It won't ever stop people from going to I mean, Disneyland. Yeah. People will still go into debt to go to Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, it's just, it's Disneyland. I mean, like, they've, like the prices have been raised so much. A lot. And, like, parking has been raised. It's but like, we're the it's problem. It's crazy. Apparently, my More man. The here's, the th- here's my issue is that if you're that person that leaves that type of comments, you better love everything about Star You better Star- have never everything. complained about anything in your everything. entire life. You have better read all the comics. You have better have loved that Chewbacca did some weird thing in this comic that he, is no longer canonical. He blew up on a moon. You better love that Han Solo has a daughter, love child in another comic. Like. Yep. And I guarantee you they have not even del- dived into these things. Yeah, dude. And, and it's like, if I think if you're a real fan, there's things you don't like. I love my Tacoma. <laughs> I am a fan. <laughs> what? Hey, follow me on this journey. Okay, guys. no, I'm going. I'm going to take going. you on a little drive. I love in my Tacoma. Tacoma. I'm a big fan of Tacomas. Do I think my Tacoma is the perfect car? Yes, you do. I mean, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> I don't. It's not a perfect car. I can I can list a lot of things that aren't great about it. Now, One it of them sure does have a lot of trash in it. Is it a perfect <laughs> truck? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Number one of the things I don't every, like about the every Tacoma. time I get in Michael's truck, I am like <laughs> taking empty water bottles out. I am taking receipt. I'm like I'm his like his mother. He's like, "What are you doing, bro?" I'm like, "I'm cleaning your truck." He's like. Well, oh, thanks, man. We got in this car earlier, and he goes, "Sorry, let me move some trash." I'm like, "Nah, I'm used to sitting on the trash by now." <laughs> He's like, "Wait, wait." <laughs> when I'm going to start by saying, "Okay, this is one thing I don't love about the Tacomas. They gather a lot of trash." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh okay <laughs> you know I read that I, th- I read a two star review one time and they were like for some reason listen, these cars <laughs> just accumulate accumulate trash I drive by people just like here and just <laughs> put trash in my car I'll open my door and it'll be clean and I close it and I open it again and there's receipts <laughs> <laughs> who's buying all these things for some reason they said Galaxy's Edge Darth Maul lightsabers on them I don't know who they are <laughs> there's so many Galaxy's Edge receipts in my so, car right but, now hold on, okay Let's say, I don't we, think we it's took your Tacoma off road I don't I'm gonna bring it back on the <laughs> okay. path Okay. It's not a perfect car, but like if how annoying would I be if I was if you guys were like so you see a Tesla. Dude, Teslas are so cool. No, 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 no. Did you see my Tacoma? It is the perfect car. <laughs> no, it doesn't it do, not everything is perfect. Yep. Things have flaws and other things are cooler. Yeah, but your trash car is going to run forever, right? It will. Yeah. There's a reason why Middle East 
terrorists use it as their war vehicles. Oh my god! You can't destroy it. <laughs> what did? Do you not know that? <laughs> there was, no, there no was I a, know. I didn't know we were going there. There was an investigation into Toyota because they're like, dude, how are all these terrorists getting Tacomas? And how do they know how to perfectly mount, like, fifty caliber machine guns on into the back the of them? Frame. Yeah. And so they, but. Just for the record, Toyota was not a part of it, <laughs> but there was a legitimate investigation like what eight years ago, 100%. So, Toyota, we're backing you up here. We I'm a would huge, appreciate a sponsorship. I'm a huge Tacoma. <laughs> fan. I mean, I drive a Toyota, I'm a huge Tacoma. You drive fan. a Prius, bro. It doesn't count. It is a Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> my, a Prius. my Prius is a toy will run something for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, where was I? Uh, I have no idea. Off-roading with I have no idea. Toyota in the Middle East. Well, but okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> how annoying would it be? It, it just doesn't work. Yeah, and no, so I agree. Where we say, like, you know, we had a podcast about Marvel. Like, hey, Marvel's doing a better job. Oh, there's people in here. <laughs> yeah, put little action figures in there. <laughs> they're, they're okay with. Um, Marvel is doing a better job. They were in here. I know, but the audio listeners can't hear what you're doing. The ad at we have on oh, the I think the I can AT-AT. hear what he's doing, but the they can't see. Oh, is it camera? Is this mic on? No. The at a ATAT, we'll cover all the bases just to be careful because we right, know because right. we're the worst people of Star Wars. We are. Um, are you going to cover at the AT? I didn't. I didn't understand it opens and there's Michael has little drivers. I put little in figures it. in there. I got a Han Solo in Hoth gear and I got a at a driver. I'm um, about. at a pilot actually. Okay, so um, why is he called a pilot? Is it a pilot? I think it's at it is, pilot. but it's a why. So here's what I'm saying. Am I the biggest Star Wars fan? I'm a big Star Wars fan. I think you are. Do I think that Marvel is doing a better job than Star Wars right now? Yes. Does that mean that I don't love Star Wars any more than I ever have? No. 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 Far from it. Does it mean that I will continue to buy lightsabers? Yes. Does it mean I will always have tattoos covering my entire body? Yes. Yeah. Hold on. Well, I mean, you, you forgot the part you, that there were Star Wars tattoos. Star Wars tattoos covering my entire body? I think I said Star Wars tattoos. No, I said no, tattoos. said tattoos. Yes. I can say something that's not 100% wonderful. And still be the biggest fan, of, and still be the biggest Star Wars fan, yeah. and still be one of the biggest Star Wars fans in the room. Wow, you're like easily the biggest Star Wars fan in the room. I'm the one room? of three of the biggest Star Wars fans in the room. <laughs> 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 that was a good save. That was a good save. I think, and you know what, dude? It was, and I gotta just circle it back around. He loves the Tacoma. <laughs> <laughs> When I drove my Tacoma to Disneyland last weekend, <laughs> what I noticed was that everybody that was coming up to me was talking about how our videos impacted their trip to and Galaxy's not Edge. in a negative Dude, way. it was six people. It wasn't like a couple yeah, no, people. Yeah, but it still was not. But no, that's what I'm saying. It's so crazy is that it was more than just a one-time thing. And that's why I'm saying like if you guys were there, it probably would have been more because, dude, I think, one, that those are our people there. We should just go there and stand. Do okay. a live show. Let people give us comments in real life. Bring a breakdown table and just like pull up, pull up uh, chairs. <laughs> just go like, sit in there. Just do here. a live show in front of the Falcon. Yeah. Oh, we. I in don't trouble. think they'd stop us. Why would oh, they, they stop, would stop us? us easily? Why? I don't 100%. think we'd get a table through security. No, not a table. Just sit. if we laved up. Hundred percent, we could lav up. Bro, we could do a podcast Bro. from Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, we could be loud, but we could. So not what? if we lav up. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, Mike, little laugh mics oh, on okay. our shirts. You put them on. I was like, I have no idea what that means. I'll it wouldn't be it. quiet. What is? What was that face you just made? <laughs> <laughs> just, did you see that? And he's like, he looked, the best part is it's sideways. You can't even see and it. And he like the... made eye contact with me. I'm just like, what are you doing? I did, I like, <laughs> there's an empty spot right over here if you want to shift over. No, no, yeah, right. Oh yeah, me. Um, where were we going? I don't remember. We were talking we, about Tacomas in the Middle no, East. I'm, dude, enough with the Tacomas. I made one comment about good, the Tacomas. That was a funny reference, though. and that's what you're gonna want to name the podcast. Yeah. We should. And then somebody's going to be like, listen, all those things you guys said about Star Wars, I love my Tacoma. You said so many negative things about my Tacoma. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna go Only negative thing I have to say about the Tacoma is the trash. And we talked about that. <laughs> other, th- other than that, oh, it's great. You con- are the worst Tacoma person. You're the problem with the Tacoma community. Whoa. <laughs> that's full circle. <laughs> Dang. Mama I'm circles. the problem with the Tacoma community. Let's get out of here. I feel like we did a podcast. That was fun. Does anybody else want anything to say on the end? It's still hot in here. It's real it hot. I'm still hot. I mean, it's an interesting one. Here, so I, I mean, think I, we can I just, like Star Wars. I think we can just close with like we love Star Wars. We, I mean, we don't, we don't need to like everything. I don't need to like if <laughs> hit it, hit us. It's like your mother. Like your mother loves you. Does she like everything about you? 
Probably not. not. Hey, my mom thinks I'm a like. She loves me. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know where I was gonna go. My mom hates me. Hey, if no. we're at a buffet, I'm an idiot. And and you guys are gonna argue with me? No, probably not. <laughs> Continue. I don't think I'm gonna argue with All you. All I said is one. I'm an idiot, and I said you guys are gonna argue. You're like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> don't argue with me for the sake of arguing with me, like the bits you always do. Follow me on this one. Okay. If I'm at a buffet, and I have a plate, and I throw one of everything on my plate, and I'm gonna eat all of this. It's stacked to the ceiling. Okay, bro. You eat barely anything. How are you putting one of everything? But from I a buffet love in it? everything. Like how you just said, don't argue with me just yeah. for the sake of it. And, and then Taylor this does. It's the first thing he does. I got a <laughs> freaking moof milker over <laughs> here. Milker. <laughs> All right, go. What were you saying? Sorry. What were you saying? Put like, one of everything, like, and you love like, everything. <laughs> Bit killer. <laughs> where's the Where's the quad launcher? <laughs> Bit killer. <laughs> Fury. Fury. <laughs> I think I'm crying. I'll make you cry after this podcast. <laughs> I'm going for the kill. <laughs> I mean, I'm already there. If, I, whatever, if I'm at a buffet, mm, it, it, I don't. You don't take everything. No, and you don't have to. And nobody's saying, "Hey, you're ruining it because you're not taking everything." You're it's not, a buffet. You're don't not you know? a true buffeter <laughs> because you didn't eat everything. <laughs> oh man, you didn't eat that cottage cheese over there. You're not a true <laughs> buffeter. Like that's I'm it's not like cottage cheese, dude. Love the buffet for what you want to eat at the buffet. Yeah. That's why you go to a buffet. And don't love the buffet for what you don't eat the buffet. I go to a buffet to hate myself. <laughs> 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 I just like how many times we said, I'm crying, don't cry. <laughs> now I'm crying. I just like it. how many times we said buffet. <laughs> Buff- buffet. 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 There was a couple times in there where I thought you said parfait, and I was like, ah, oh, everybody loves parfait. I won't touch a parfait at a buffet. <laughs> oh, no. Because you're not gross. sure what they're mixing. No, and they sit out. You don't eat anything that's going to get... Compromise. No, I don't even touch the desserts. Out. Everybody, you know what I hate at buffets? <laughs> the fond- when they do the chocolate fondue. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't touch the chocolate oh, fondue. Oh, no. so gross. You got some little five-year-old yeah. shoving their hand in there, Absolutely. and you're just like, oh. and me shoving my hand in there. Yeah, like just well, that, recycled you, chocolate. You, you were the five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode of the. We Rex love Star Rex Wars. Show. We love Star Wars. Uh, dude, I don't know. Leave more reviews. We've got a couple more reviews that are really nice. Um, if you made it to this point in the podcast and you have not left a review yet, it's kind of weird to me to hear that because <laughs> why, why are you still here? Why would you do that? Why would you listen to this much of the podcast and not leave reviews? Here's a good one. I like this one a lot. Hands down the best Star Wars podcast out there because everyone on the show offers a different opinion about different elements to Star Wars. So there's virtually no bias looking for a laugh Rex and around. Looking for others' thoughts about recent Star Wars events? Rex and around. The most unprofessional, professionally done Star Wars talk podcast. Thank you so much, yes. the infamous one. I, I appreciate and oh, that's just appreciate me. the unprofessionalism part. No, he's <laughs> saying the unprofessionalism because it's us and professional oh. because of what you do. Oh, The production okay. Okay. is good. Okay. Then I appreciate it all, all over again. I do like all the comments we get that are just like, questions. Um... You guys inspired me to build my first 3D printed face to specialist helmet. I'm going for a complete Bly costume and 501st approval, but wanted to ask your opinion on whether you guys would create your own commanders or stick to canon characters. Oh, you know what? I bet we could. I guess we could answer. Dude. I was like, where would I answer that? Dude, and what, 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 what you want? Yeah. Build what you want. It's not going to be approvable by a club, but you know how I feel about clubs. But on the flip side of that, you know how Greg feels about clubs. So do you want to be in a club? Okay. Yeah, if you want to, if you want that community, that that specific canonical community, what the community offers, dive into it. If there's a huge community for custom, custom built like non canonical movies, I know. I see characters. you making faces over there, Taylor. I'm just confused. Is he asking about a clone? Yeah, like yeah. a clone helmet. He's asking like about a clone helmet. Custom. Custom. Cool. That's where I was lost. Oh, you were zoned okay. out. Okay. <laughs> do what you want. So he's going. I was, watch, it, I was watching your. You play with the ad at. Oh, it sorry. sounds like. He or she is going for an approvable Bly, but then they're like, do you stick to canon characters or do you build your own? Here's where I'm at. And the same thing, same way with figures, yeah. where it's like, do you love it? Yeah. If you love it, then it doesn't matter. Clubs don't matter. Uh, approvability doesn't matter. Likes on Instagram don't matter. If you love it and it brings you joy. Go for it. Go for it. I have, a, a n- it will never be approvable, the patrol trooper I've been working on. But- I want it for myself. Yeah. 
Same with the Jedi Temple Guard. I'm it's not because the costume's not approvable. It's the way you're doing some things. The way I'm doing it because I just yeah. want it to be comfortable and I yeah. want it to be cool. And I'm doing a Jedi Temple Guard, uh, Guard also. I'm still making costumes, but I'm, I'm not going for approvability because I just want them because I love them. And yeah. so we would recommend that you guys do the same. Anyways, I tried to wrap up this podcast like seven minutes ago. It was good. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Um, honestly, the subscriptions mean a lot to us. Turn on the bell. <laughs> Actually, doubling down on that, don't. I don't care. I guess I don't care. I care. I think we do this at this, this, this point. <laughs> I think we do this at this point because we enjoy doing it. So I've noticed more and more that like, even though a video may only get 800 views, it's so fun to read through the comments and talk to people and, and respond to people. So it's like, do or don't subscribe. I guess I, guess I don't care anymore. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to have fun. This went off the rails. Oh, that's good. I think people enjoy that these days. I don't know. I think it's it's warm. It's warm. It's hot. Let's go. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. I love Star Wars.